here and play it the first time when we opened for Ryan Adams, the day that we arrived, I remember the merch area and coming in and he was like hanging out. The venue felt so big because we were like literally like had just been playing coffee shops basically. And uh, and I remember he was really riled up. And um, everybody here knows who Ryan Adams is, right? <laughs> And so he had just released this record, this amazing record called Heartbreaker, and, um, and so he, we were going across the country and he had released sort of like a, 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 like a B-side sort of like, kind of like collection of music. Anyway, we walked into the venue and he was sitting with some of the gear and he was really riled up because he'd gotten a bad review. And he had called the editor of the paper who'd given him the bad review and told him off. <laughs> And I remember feeling like tremendous, well I felt a lot of things, but the two main major emotions that happened was like I felt jealous because we had been given bad reviews at that point and all we did was just like cry and feel bad for ourselves. I would have never fucking called and said like, fuck you, like that would have never happened. The second thing that I felt was really impressed because we still would never do that, but in the moment I understood, even at my young brain, young musician self, that it took a lot of courage to stand up for what you think is right. You know what I mean? And I was like, even if you're wrong, <laughs> even if you're totally wrong. Maybe that reviewer was right, I can't remember, I barely remember any of that stuff, but I just remember thinking, like, he's so strong, he's so brave, and, uh, I think Sarah and I were really lucky that we got to go up in front of so many other people's audiences. We didn't get the privilege of just putting out a record and being popular and having our own crowd. We had to go and earn our audience, like one person at a time. I respected that. I respected that. <laughs> we would have been like, how we justified things. We were like, even when we got bad reviews, we were like, well, at least people were paying attention to us. <laughs> and there was no internet. There was no internet, so we were like, it'll be forgotten next week, no big deal. <laughs> Try again next time, so. Anyway, I was just thinking about that when we were playing that song, because I saw the merch area. This is not a plug for merchandise, yes. <laughs> it is great looking merchandise, though, wow. <laughs> anyway, uh, interestingly enough and completely random, this next song is sort of about that time period in my life, so.